Well, hello and good day. Hope that this video is finding you good health and good spirits. I'm having a pretty good today, day today. And my question for the cards is I want to know what's going on with Vladimir Putin. All kinds of interesting things happen over in Moscow these days. One, he's making noises that supposedly he secretly wants a ceasefire and he wants something to uh, happen. Of course, his conditions for a ceasefire are a bit ridiculous, like he gets to keep all of the land that he's stolen. And the Ukrainians promise that they'll never join NATO forever and ever and ever. Amen. And, you know, a few other things, but, you know, it's all fodder for the negotiating table. It's also very interesting, given the number of military officers that have been arrested of late and the anti-corruption campaign that's going on in the, the <clears throat> Russian military. And Shigu, the defense minister, got a lateral transfer. And there's now an economist in charge. Interesting things are happening. So I'm kind of looking to see what all the cards have to say about this phenomenon. Just going to do regular Celtic cross. And I have been dealing with some weird energy for a while now. So I needed a light deck. So pulling out the Trash Panda Tarot by Jennifer Starling Ducart. This deck always makes me smile. No matter how friggin' crazy things are getting, you know, I can always depend on it to lighten the mood. And if there's anything that needs lightening, it's on uh, reading about Vladimir Putin. First card in this, we have the King of Wands. He's in a reverse position. Now, the King of Wands, when he's uh, reversed, very dynamic, he's very powerful, he's a dictator, and he's hot-tempered, and he's ineffective. Yeah, well, apparently the cards were listening, because they know who we're talking about. And this is crossed by the King of Swords, also in a reverse position. King of Swords, when he's reversed, power, cruelty, you know, abuse of power, you name it here, we've gotten very interesting. We have got two kings sitting next to each other, both of them in a reverse position. And the way I would look at that is we have Putin is really, really struggling for control over the circumstances and the situation. You've got this two outward looking energy and they're right next to each other and they're going to be overlapping and they're going to be there's a there's a conflict, a huge conflict right here in the signifier section of this reading. In the past, no kidding, we have the Seven of Cups. This is card of illusion and delusion. This is about fantasy. This is about, you know, having options and making decisions, but it's being caught up in imagination and not being able to ascertain what is fantasy, what's imagination, what's illusion, what's reality. And of course, like all dictators, he is very isolated and so he doesn't have anybody around him who can tell him the unvarnished truth. That is like the Achilles heel of any dictator. So he has been living in a fantasy land in the past. That would be you know, this whole genocidal language that he uses around Ukraine, that they're not a real nation, that they're not real people, and therefore, you know, we can exterminate them because they don't have a real culture. Yeah, he is living in fantasy land. In the future, Eight of Swords, Upright. This is kind of this about negativity. It's about being restricted. It's being about helpless. It's being restricted due to your own actions, and is very much a victim mentality. Well, of course, Vladimir Putin is a victim. He is like the second biggest victim in the world because the biggest victim is Donald Trump, who is just like a grievance factory on steroids. 
So yeah, things have not been going well. I mean, his three week invasion of Ukraine has pushed over two years. And he, he really thought he had something going there with the Americans that the Republican con Congress would deny the aid bill to Ukraine. He thought he had that in the bag because that would be the quickest way for him to win this war would be to cut Ukraine off at the knees as far as being able to defend themselves. Didn't work out so well. In the sky of the reading, this is the overarching energy. This is um, kind of the goals, if you will, of the reading. And we have the Ace of Pentacles, and it's in a reverse position. This is about delays. Well, yeah, his three-week invasion is going on, you know, two and a half years right now. Very poor planning and financial stress. Well, there's the sanctions. That's a financial stress. They don't have, they can't import stuff that they need. They've lost a great deal of their workforce either because they've killed them over in Ukraine or like foreign technicians and that sort of stuff in the oil fields. They've all left like who's immigrating to Russia right now. Um, their oil, they've had to sell at bargain basement prices and the Ukrainians, pesky little Ukrainians keep bombing oil refineries and they lost a major customer with uh, Western Europe because Germany and all of that sort of stuff made the political decision to turn off the gas pad. Yeah. Don't want to see what the inflation rate is in, uh, Russia right now. Not that official statistics would do you any good because, let's face it, they're not being well reported. Yeah. So in the foundation of this reading, what's holding things up, kind of uh, the bulwark of it all, we have the moon and it's in a reverse position. This is card about uncertainty and fear and secrets being exposed and business that's unfinished, that can't be finished. This is not looking real good for Vladimir today. Message from Spirit. World card in a reverse position. This is a lack of closure and things left incomplete and delays. And again, with the unfinished business, he is really struggling. Those two kings that we opened with, yeah, that was not whistling Dixie. This is like all the way through. I mean, we're seven cards into this spread and it's all pretty much the same message. Yeah, you've overshot and you've done it. In the environment, we have the Four of Swords. Four of Swords is card that's about rest and rejuvenation. It's about retreating. It's about contemplating and kind of how you're going to reorganize yourself and get things kind of back on track. I don't know with so many changes. I mean, he's lost so many military officers. The young ones he's killed, the old ones are under arrest. Shigu is gone. He's now got an economist who is, of course, by nature of the beast is an expert in forecasting and this is why you see russia trying to convert their economy into a wartime economy right he is making every preparation for this war to last as long as possible that's why this economist is in charge of the military so I mean, what is all this bleep, 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 bleep about wanting to have a ceasefire and having that kind of leaked out into the press? It wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that Ukraine is hosting a conference in, I think, Switzerland, right? To talk about uh, peace and how Ukraine can move forward. Yeah. Hopes and fears. 
we have the five of cups in a reverse position now this is an interesting thing this i don't know if it's a hope or it's a fear i'm gonna think it's a fear uh, because the five of cups when it's reversed is about peace and optimism and healing and coming to an acceptance of things it would be nice if he would accept that and you know decide that it's time to to pull out i don't know he's been given every off ramp that there was by the western alliance and he you know just drove right past them so i don't know if he is going to be able to come up with a face saving means of getting himself out of this mess that he's made himself in by the looks of the final outcome card not likely we have the devil devil of course this is a card about control and temptation it's about being addicted to your uh, excesses right and being very caught up in negativity on a very deviant behavior well yes yes to all of the above he certainly has those issues going on in the shadow shadow card for this reading we have the nine of pentacles and it's in a reverse position nine of pentacles when it is reversed is about being overworked and really being weighed down by materialism and a sense of envy he certainly got a lot to be envious about because any of his goals for this i mean he wanted to destroy ukrainian culture he wanted to take over the political system in ukraine and turn it into another belarus he wanted to make sure that they weren't members of nato he wanted to slow down or stop the expansion of nato well now there's two more countries the baltics right sweden and finland yes sweden and finland are the new nato members right every turn that he has taken on this he has failed and failed miserably and the ukrainians just keep handing it back now with the uh the lack of temporary suspension of support for ukrainian with uh military equipment etc the the europeans did chip in with a lot uh particularly like poland and uh france and also germany they have been very uh upfront about supporting this because well they know where putin's next stop is and it's not in the u.s it's going to be right in western europe is where he'll come rolling through because this guy is not going to stop um, he won't take Ukraine and be happy and go home. So I personally think that this so-called report that he's looking for, you know, ceasefire negotiations, I don't think it is serious. I think this is about uh, keeping the West off his back. I think he is still hoping and praying for a Trump um, victory in which time he will be able to control the kind of support military physical support that ukraine gets as far as western weapons and until he can get that he's just he's just trying to spin up excuses and run the clock out which of course is a tactic of dear donald so that's the reading for today and i will talk to you later bye bye for now